Standing over 40 feet, the Memorial Park Cenotaph carries the history of two world wars and our local heroes who fought for rights and freedoms. Today, the popular city monument has gotten a facelift, but how many of us know its history and origin? The cenotaph was shipped to Trinidad and Tobago from Europe, and its stone can be dated to millions of years ago. Meet Anthony Salum, a man passionate about Trinidad and Tobago's history and the restoration of many historical and heritage sites. He says the cenotaph now looks different, it's because it was restored to its original state. He described the headache he faced to repair this precious monument. I went to the mayor and I was able to persuade him I, that he should seriously consider removing the paint that has been on this year after year. But what is most interesting, the cenotaph has a mystery beneath her feet. Mr. Salom says, from research it appears that a time capsule is somewhere around the foot of the cenotaph. We have no idea where it is. <laughs> All we know that on May the 1st, yes. 1924, seven weeks before the unveiling of the, of the whole monument, they placed a time a glass jar in the second tier of the foundation. And as one mystery is uncovered, another was found. Mr. Salum explains that while restoring, they found emblems of the coat of arms of Trinidad and Tobago used at the time. This was never seen on the monument until it was totally stripped. The flag of Trinidad and Tobago was really the British flag yes. with the emblem representing Trinidad and Tobago in the center of it. Now as the job is complete, the cenotaph has a unique lighting system and at night you will see the monument glimmering as it honors those who had fallen. For an extended version of this interview, tune in to Inspire TT on Tuesday night at 8 p.m. via the CNC3 Facebook page. Otto Carrington, CNC3 News.